when I say, I had four or five cups of coffee today, when they say, did you go to work today? Yeah. Tour number four. It's a very a kind of restrained version of neighbor's coffee. Neighbor's uh, pea berry. It's a kind of a yeah. quieter. Yeah. It has the characteristic, doesn't it? And it's very clean. It's a very uh, yeah. coherent, sweet, with what we call stone fruit when we can't figure out what fruit it is. <laughs> uh, stone fruit. Some beautiful flowers, sweet flowers. Jasmine, star jasmine. If I try, if I dig down, I get a little cocoa. Actually, pretty prominent. Yeah, cocoa. I would say the cocoa's coming through. It's not as intense as uh, the neighbors, the uh, number one, has all of the characteristics. Kind of low toned, resonant. Pretty nice. Not showy not immediately uh, arresting, but uh, quite nice. Little bit of astringency that lingers into the finish, but not, uh, not distracting. What's your take? Yeah, it's a subtler take on the uh, first two. Yeah, it is. I'm getting a little honey, I think. Am I? <laughs> Honey is a is a interesting descriptor and uh, a good one, very good. I could even call it clover honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that would be a way of describing the the floral notes. Kind of a sweet floral notes contexted in the honey, honey sensation. I think the one possible flaw I see in this coffee is that the astringency carries into the finish. Interesting. Yeah, there is something that uh, doesn't go away. Yeah. It's, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's Sometimes, as we, we've often observed, when the coffee is hot, it exaggerates any kind of astringent yeah. or excessive yeah. drying, and then that sensation tends to diminish as the cup cools, or it diminishes in the finish. Yeah. But here it... it it carries through. It could be that the difference between this coffee and the two more successful cups, somewhat more successful, mm -hmm. it could be that the beans were a little faded. Yeah, from is, the is this the In idea that words, it's, so they, is it older? Yeah. yeah. This is an, if they have a roasted on dates on um, the packages. Maybe not, huh? I thought... Well, I at thought any rate, did. that would be one possibility, that it, yeah. it faded a little bit since the... Uh, it's not at its peak after the roast. I see what you're saying. For whatever reason, it's very nice. Yeah. Quietly complete, has uh, all the characteristics of the type, of the style. Yeah. And again, I think it's a traditional Burundi washed. Could be a honey, I suppose. Let me see. It's possible it would, could be a honey process rather than a Burundi washed. I guess we'll see. Now the finish is, is smoothing out, staying kind of rich, sweet, but losing that drying edge. Maybe I'm just being, the coffee is taking over and, and uh, <laughs> drinking me into submission. <laughs> 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 I love the way you laugh at my jokes, uh, Kevin. That it's, was uh, good. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> it's an excellent, excellent characteristic. <laughs> you have anything more to say before we reveal it? Uh, interestingly, this would be probably the safest of the coffees we've had today. To, to, so I'm thinking of certain people that I always have a problem with. Either the coffee's too much for them, it's too bright, or it's too, uh, you know, too flavorful. This would this coffee's the subtleness I think works in its favor other than other than the little bit of astringency which is you know maybe fading a little probably a very pleasant tasting coffee for many people. You notice that it doesn't have the range 
that's, for example, the first number one, one first neighbor's one. Yeah. head. Yeah. You know, neighbor's head, there's a big range of, of ar aromatic notes. Here, yeah. it, it's a narrower yeah, it's range. Just almost... And the fact that the, the, we're identifying the florals as a, a context that are enveloped in the honey note uh, is a, a symptom of the, this sort of, uh, it's a, a tighter range of aromatic notes, but pleasant. Let's see what we have here. Hold Jameson it. coffee, I yeah, see. Yeah, Jameson, can you uh, zoom can in on some, one, Dennis? Some mountains. Burundi, Kayanza. Kayanza is another province in uh, northern Burundi, and uh, one that's very uh, admired for its coffees. Honey, 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 you got it, and cocoa. Honey and cocoa. Okay, again, I would go uh, mango for my Stone for fruit, stone not fruit. peach, yeah. but uh, peach is okay. And it's washed. So we have four uh, variations. It's interesting that these coffees are very two to type. Yeah, they are. All, all four <laughs> of them. And this was the roaster that told me that's a natural coffee. They obviously didn't, still meant washed. Pretty good crowd pleaser. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more shows like this.